All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing the brand new STR LR Blue Gogeta at 55% in the hidden potential system. No dupes and see how he compares to a rainbow 100% LR Blue Gogeta. Now, if you're curious about how good a rainbow Blue Gogeta is, feel free to go check out that showcase I did earlier this month somewhere above my head. Link over here. Over there, I think over here. Either way, you can find it on the screen and uh, go check it out if you want before you watch this video. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. And as you can see, man, first rotation, we got two supports, pretty solid. 75,000 defense to start, nothing crazy, but good enough for now. Good enough for now. Okay, so we'll give him four orbs here. He will get that ultra super still because of his passive. And. The point I'm really trying to make in this video and really trying to drive home to everybody. Okay, so 2.6 mil for the first super. That's that's not bad. That's pretty that's pretty solid. The point I'm trying to make though, trying to drive home, is that uh, even without any dupes, right? Both him as well as the Vegito, the blue Vegito, are absolute monsters, man. They're just ridiculous units that hit super hard, um, are pretty solid defensively. Yo, Turles, why do you gotta do that? Come on, Terrorless, you gotta tank that a little bit better, man. I know it's not your thing, but like that's just that's, that's just sad. This dude took 128,000 damage for a super on the base Goku. Okay, um, going back to what I was saying though, I just want to show people like even without dupes, these guys are still amazing. Recently, I've actually been getting some questions from people on my streams and in my video comments, you know, about like whether or not these guys are actually good units. You know, like they're straight up asking, yo, are these guys actually good without dupes? And I think the issue is that most people, when they do showcases, will showcase units at 100%, which is fair. I do that too, right? But so many people have seen these rainbow showcases that they're like, okay, so they're awesome at rainbow, but like, are they just not good without like any dupes or anything like that? Without the bottom right path, at least, or top left path? And the answer to that question is... Hell no, man. They are amazing, even without any dupes. I would say Gogeta and Vegito without dupes, right, at 55%, are still better than like 90% of the units out there who are at rainbow status, right? So you take like 90% of the units out there, give them all their dupes, give them all the orbs, rainbow them. Gogeta and Vegito at 55% are still going to be better than them. Right, that's just my opinion, and I think it's pretty universally agreed upon like i don't think that's a really controversial opinion <laughs> but if you guys disagree that's cool too either way all i'm trying to say is like you don't need dupes man they're still you know gonna be two of the best units in the game gonna be two of the best units in your box and uh ah crap we couldn't get the ultra super there okay so that's the 12 key super and as you can see the damage is quite a bit lower no additional super either that's a little bit unfortunate but that's okay though not a big deal um, next turn, actually, once this Gogeta comes back, as well as the other Gogeta comes to the rotation, we're gonna get that double Gogeta transformation and get two blue Gogetas on the same rotation. And I think that is literally my favorite rotation to run in the game right now. All right, here we go. Here we go. So there's the first one. There's the AGL Gogeta. And then we got the STR one right after. Oh man, it's so clean. It's so clean. I love it. I love it. Alright, here we go. So, yeah, unfortunately, we're pretty low on health because of uh, the couple of supers we took. So, we're going to have to heal up a little bit. I'm going to pop the Aider here. And we can get an Ultra Super off at least. So, let's give him these ones. And Gogeta's, the other Gogeta is already supering. So doesn't really matter. And Turtles can do his thing if he wants. Okay, so tanking well. Obviously, we do have the extra 50% defense from Aider, so it's not really a fair representation right now. 3.2 million for the super. And we're hitting for almost 2 million with the attacks effective against all. The additional attack is doing some decent damage too. Gotta keep in mind, right? All, all of his attacks are super effective against all types. So regardless of who he's fighting, he's going to be doing good damage. And that's part of the main reason. That's kind of the main reason why I think that even though Vegito is probably a bit better, like the blue Vegito, the LR, compared to the 
blue Gogeta here. Even though I do admit he is probably a little bit better, Gogeta is not that far off, right? Because Gogeta doesn't get the additional Ultra Super, or not Ultra Super, the additional Super Attack like Vegito does. And that definitely is what like kind of puts Vegito over the edge. He does still get a you know normal attack, additional normal attack, but in addition to that, his attacks are just all super effective. So even though he doesn't get two supers, his one super, it's a lot harder. So I think it's pretty close, guys. I think it's pretty close. I mean, obviously, I still think Vegito is better. I mean, it hurts me to say that sometimes, but it's just my honest opinion if I'm being completely objective, you know, fandom aside. But Gogeta with that super effective against all is huge. Like, that, that's, that's a huge factor you do have to consider. All right, so now we can actually pop the active skill. I don't think I'm going to do it yet because it's a little bit early. Um, 89,000 defense for the STR Blue Gogeta, not too shabby but nothing super impressive either. And we're gonna wait a little bit, all right, for that active skill. We're gonna, we're gonna wait at least for the God Coup, or maybe the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, possibly even, um, even UI Goku. I'm not really sure right now, but we're gonna wait a bit for one of the later stages, so it's actually more impressive when he hits them for like some crazy amount. Oh, this is gonna hurt, oh. 130k. I mean, it's not it's not too surprising considering we got the type disadvantage, but uh, it still hurts, man. It still hurts. So one thing that I will say about Gogeta and Vegito with no dupes, right, is that um, tanking wise, they they do suffer a little bit. Like they're not the greatest tanks. They can build up a good amount of defense over time once you get a bunch of attacks off. But uh, in the early stages, when you first transform for the per first couple of turns, you do have to be a little bit careful. Okay, so we got the Kid Boo this turn. Um, let me see. So I want to get those STR orbs, which means that we'll have to put Blue Gogeta in the front, which is not, oh, not a desirable situation, man. Not a desirable place to be, because that dude, if he gets supered, it's over. Uh, I'm going to pop the Princess Snake, just to play it safe a little bit. And then we can give these to him. Again, to give these to Lugo Gita. And Kid Boo's not gonna super, but it's fine. Not a huge deal. Oh, there we go. I called it. I called it, and of course we don't dodge it either. Because why would he do that? Why would he dodge that? Of course he dodges the normal attack, but not the super. <laughs> uh, just my luck, dude. Just my luck. What did I expect, though? Like, that's just how it goes. Yeah, dodge two normal attacks, two normal attacks, but doesn't dodge the super. <laughs> I see how it is. I see how it is. All right, so two million for the super right there. Pretty nice damage still. Uh, as you can see, man, no matter what the typing of the enemy is, he's consistently putting out good damage because, of course, effective against all. I love that mechanic, man. Like, you can't overlook that mechanic. Oh, by the way, anybody that curi uh, that's curious, if you have dupes, right, if you're lucky enough to pull dupes for your Gogeta, go with additional attacks over critical hit chance. Okay, so now, oh my god, Turles is still transformed. I hate it when Turles transforms, man. It's so freaking annoying. Um, we might have to... Uh, we might have to go Slasher this turn. I think we're going to go Slasher this turn. Play it safe a little bit, you know, give, give, give our Gogeta another chance to build up a little bit more defense first before he potentially faces a type disadvantage super. Let me focus here. Let's get this perfect. Here we go. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. We know this is going to do good damage because even though the Goku is AGL, it's going to be effective. So I'm hoping for a crit here. We'll see what happens. I haven't been paying attention to the super attack the whole time, but dude, like, it's so clean. It's so freaking clean. Oh god, 5.3 mil. 5.3 mil for that Dokkan attack right there. This double Gogeta rotation is so much fun to run. It's so much fun to run. I think I actually like this rotation better than the double blue LR's rotation with the Vegito and the Gogeta. 
I think that's just speaking to how big of a big of a Gogeta fanboy I am, which, like I said earlier in this video, I am a huge Gogeta fanboy. I admit that. Ah, oh, you finally went back. Thank you. You finally, finally went back. Um, but yeah, man, I just really enjoy these double Gogetas going at it. Uh, sounds kind of weird. I'll take it that way. But I really like just like the, the crazy supers and the crazy damage output. And the double Vegito, uh, double Vegito blue the rotation is really fun too, right? With the LR Vegito and also the Fizz Vegito blue, especially with the counters from Fizz Vegito blue. So yeah, usually when I run these guys, I don't run them together. What I do on a Realm of Gods team is run this guy with the, like the LR Gogeta with the blue Gogeta. And then I'll run the... LR Vegito with the Fizz Vegito Blue. And those are my two rotations that I run. Okay, so for this one, cooler at the end, not a good time. Uh, let's pop a Icarus just to ensure our survival with all those attacks targeting cooler. And we're gonna get a full 24 key super here with Gogeta. 121,000 defense now. So a huge upgrade from before, still not the craziest defense, but good enough in most cases. Good enough in most cases. I still should go up from here. Like, this is not his cap. It's not his limit. I think we still have a few more attacks before he hits his, like, um, his passive cap. You know what I mean? Okay, so about 4.8 mil there. Almost 5 now. Almost 5 now. Item was a good call. 88,000. 88,000. Okay, that's good. That's good. And uh, you know what, next turn, I think once we come back to this rotation, we will pop that active skill. I think it's time. And we should actually get UI Goku to below 50% and anyways. Because you need to be, you need the enemy to be below 50%, right, to actually use your active skill. So I think we'll get there. Man, even with the Icarus, we're still taking this kind of damage. And Turles is transforming again. Yo, I've, I've had it up to here with Turles, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm getting really annoyed with Turles. You need to stop. You need to chill, Turles. Okay, let's pop the Ghost Usher. And I'll give one orb to him. One orb. You know what? Actually, we might want the super from Cooler. At least one of the Coolers. You know, we'll let, we'll let Turles super too. Because right now, he's not below 50%. I want to at least get him to 50%, right? So, let's do this just to be a little bit safer and ensure we can actually pop that active skill next turn. And the dream would be that he survives the active skill and then we can pop another super after that or at least two, maybe two more supers after that and uh, just have this like crazy turn. All right, here we go. We are below, he is below 50%. I think like just, like just below, like it's very, very close. He might be at like 49% HP. And then we move him over here. We pop that active skill. There it is. And enjoy one of the most beautiful animations in the game, of course. In addition to his normal super attacks, this is... I mean, it's glorious. That's the only word you can really use to describe this. There it is. And it's gonna do 2.5. He's still alive. Thank you. He's still... Oh, crap! Uh, man, I got so excited, I just clicked the orb by accident. Hold up, hold up. What if I reset the game, right? What if I reset the game? Would I be able to... I think it's going to take us to the beginning of the turn again. Yes. Yes, okay. There it is. All right, here we go again. Second time. It's like um, a two for one, right? Like you pay for one, you get two for the same price. So really, everybody wins here. <laughs> Let's just say it was on purpose. Let's say I did that on purpose. Okay, cool. So now we move him back to the first slot. And we'll give him a bunch of orbs, get that full 24 key super once he, at least his passive kicks in. And he should have a high chance to dodge now as well from being in the third slot. So maybe some dodges here. No, not there. All right, 5.3 million. 5.3 million. Okay, Gogeta. There's the additional super right there from being the third attacker in a turn. So we finally got the dream, basically. I mean, the real dream would be actually to get the additional attack, the additional normal too after that. But that's okay, man. I'm good with this. 
I'm good with this. If only things had worked out the same with Vegito. Man, that would have made me so happy. Well, anyways, guys, I think that's going to be the showcase. You know what, man? I'm going to let Gogeta do, do one more attack after this. So let's just try to get through this turn with the coolers. But uh, in the meantime, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the Gogeta at 55%. Like I said, absolute monster. Still an absolutely ridiculous unit. And for anybody that has been asking me, yo, is he still good? Is he still good at 55%? Yes, dude. Still good. Still amazing. Still deserves to be a part of every single team you have. All right? Even if he doesn't fit in the team, even if he doesn't get the leader skill, still use him. Okay, no, don't do not do that. But <laughs> any team that he literally fits on, you know, Super SDR or Realm of Gods, uh, Last Resort or Final Trump card, um, Kamehameha, Fusion, Movie Heroes, the list goes on. Use him on all those teams at 55% because he deserves it. He really deserves it. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, freaking Turles still transformed. Well, that's fine. We'll, we'll still do good damage even without the support. But, you know, it would have been just that much better with the support. How many times has he transformed? Has he transformed like three times this turn? I swear to... I swear he's transformed like three times. That's what it feels like. Okay, this might kill us here. This, this might actually kill us here. Okay, you know what? Let's just go before before we die. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, we're not dead? Oh no, we popped the item. I think we used the Icarus, right? My memory is like not the greatest, as you can tell. But anyways, that is today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. Hold up. We got to put this man on the screen before we go, right? Got to do that. All right. That's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.